Okay, so now that everything's installed, the last step is going to be to put in the power supply here and cable it to everything. In this case, it's a modular power supply, so you only attach the cables you need. That just helps keep the case neater. So we're going to start by screwing the power supply into the back of the computer. This hole is pre-drilled, and you just screw it right in. Okay, so now we're hooking up the data SATA cables for our two hard drives. Uh, one end plugs into the motherboard there, and then the other end plugs into our hard drive like so. And then I'll do the same thing with the other cable. So now that we have the hard drives hooked in and everything else hooked up, the last stage is to uh, power everything. Um, so we have a number of different power things that we need to use. This is 24 pin for the motherboard. Then we also have the two PCI Express powers because the GTX takes two of them. So that's two of those. Um, these are the Molex for the CD drive, for the water pump, and the mini Molex for the floppy drive. The additional 8-pin auxiliary for the, power, uh, for the motherboard. And then the two SATA connectors for the hard drive. Okay, so we finished hooking in all the power cables. This is about as organized as, as it's going to get, is my guess. And um, everything's all set, and now we're ready to go pump some, some of the coolant through and run the system. Okay, so now we're ready to begin filling the system with water. Put the cap off the reservoir on top, which was right here. And next, we will put a funnel in and pour in the coolant. But before we do that, because we want the system to be circulating, this particular system comes with a jumper cable. This jumper cable, you plug the power supply into the wall, and you jumper pins four and six on the power on the main cable, which just causes this to run. That way, you can have it run for a while. It automatically filters out all the air bubbles, and you can ensure that there's no leaks. Then once that's working right, you can power up the system regularly and put this into the motherboard. Good. Coolant is pretty good, except for that one spot down there. And the system should filtrate that automatically. And then once that's done, we can add that little extra to compensate for that. Okay, so now we have finished leak testing and filling the computer with liquid. Um, it's completely filled now, and it's circulating fine. All things are at a good temperature. Um, right after the video, we'll, there'll be, we'll include pictures in the video of the completed case. It's just kind of hard to see in the position it is right now, so we'll include pictures at the end. Um, and so right now what we're doing is we're preparing to install Windows on it, and we're going to install it on a RAID array of two 500 gigabyte disks, so a one terabyte array. So what I've done is I've gone into the BIOS, I've set it to the RAID setting, um, and then I've gone into the RAID configuration utility. I've gone to create RAID volume, just followed the instructions, and that's it. We made a RAID zero array, which is striped, um, no redundancy, but faster performance in one drive. Um, so that's ready to go, and I've already made the driver disks through the BIOS which you need to install Windows on a RAID array. You put just a floppy disk with dri uh, RAID drivers on it. With Vista, you can also do that with a USB key. So I've done that, and I can hit exit. And the computer will restart. Now it should automatically read the RAID disk, because it's Vista. XP, you'll have to hit, uh, it'll say, press the F key. I don't remember which one it is. I believe it's F2 um, to load drivers from a RAID floppy. Okay, we custom. Load now driver. you'll load, you'll notice it already, re it already sees it as a one terabyte drive, but we still need to load driver. So it's still, I mean, it's actually, it's still Finding it automatically. Found it. Hit next. Okay, so it's all set. I'm just going to check these and make sure everything's good. Everything looks fine. Uh, so I'm going to hit next. And it's going to start the installation.